Let's take a look at defining patterns in Photoshop. In this image, I'd like to use the grass and a blur effect to make an interesting background. So I will hit M for my marquee tool or choose the rectangular marquee and select an area of grass if I can get a solid area. A little power user trick, if I don't let my mouse go, I can hold down spacebar in order to move the selection area. I don't want any high contrast edges. I want pure grass, if possible. But if I got any edges in there, I could use Edit Fill Content Aware to get rid of them. And I can also do Select Transform Selection to maybe rotate this and get a different or better area of grass once I've let go. So it's your call. Find an area that works, but really any grass will do. So I'm going to let it go and choose Edit, Copy. Now before we build the pattern, I'm going to make a new document and call it Grass and Paste. And it put in a grass layer. Now I can straighten this back out with Command T or Control T to free transform. Shift will keep it proportional and Return or Enter will accept it. If I do Select All, I can choose Edit, Define, Pattern. And this will be grass. But I want a more artistic pattern. So I will deselect and I'm going to run on the grass layer, Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, then Filter, Blur, and Field Blur, where everything gets blurry. But use the bokeh effect. So if I slide bokeh up, it makes really interesting highlight points out of little spots shining on the grass. I could dial the color up to get a lot more. It's a photographer's trick to make web backgrounds or photographer's backgrounds. Now we will have a challenge with making it seamless, but I'm going to use this to start. I'm happy with it. You can also experiment whoa, <laughs> with light range to get more pronounced effects. So the highlight and shadow light range. Some of these sliders move way too fast for me. But find something you're happy with. Everyone's will be unique. And I'll click OK. And now do Edit Define Pattern and do mm, Lights Grass. So it looks like little lights. Now I'll come to this photo and I want to drop in the pattern I've made as a background. So I'll choose Layer, New Layer, and call this background, or BG for short. I'll drag it below the photo, but I won't be able to see anything until the background is cut away. So I'll select the beauty layer, and I've saved a channel for you under Select, Load Selection, Silhouette. When you click OK, now I can add a layer mask to wipe out the background. That may have been a little fast, and it looks like I have some blending happening on her arm that I'll need to clean up in the mask, but I trust that you guys can do that now. So I'll click on the BG or Background layer and choose Edit, Fill, with Pattern. And where I see Custom Pattern, I'll choose the grass. And there are new effects that were added in previous versions that I'll show you in a moment. But everything else I'll leave and click OK. That actually was kind of interesting. It just made seams at the bottom and the top. So I will come back to Edit, Fill, and I will try the Lights pattern and click OK. Now I could just take this and scale it up, but there are far more things I can do. And Seamless patterns take a little bit more work. You basically need to split it into fours and remove the seams, but I'll show you that in a moment. So now Edit Fill, and there are scripts that you can apply. Do a brick effect where it steps across and then down. So let's just try that one first. 
There we have it. So it's a little bit more random, almost looking like she's standing in front of a wall that may be lit with different things going on. In fact, to make this look more interesting, I could do new fill layer, solid color, and make it white, and then ghost back the white over the pattern so it's more subtle. But let's try one or two of the other scripts. So I'll go back to the background, and I'll hide the white layer, and edit Fill, and we'll try Cross Weave or Spiral. Let's try Spiral, and click OK. <laughs> really wild effect. Now it's like a spotlight shining on her. And I could go from the white effect, double click on the white, on the actual white with a little slider underneath and make it black, producing some really neat effects. So let's leave this because I kind of like it, but I think I preferred it on the white. So I'll go back to the white and I could lighten the opacity just to create a little bit of a ghost, kind of like it's radiating out from her beauty. <laughs> All right. So the next one I want to show is brick patterns. The brick fill is ideal for this. If I do select just one brick, spacebar to move it, edit, define pattern, yellow brick one, and I'd like you to do a few of these. Try doing different bricks that have different edges and see what it does. I'll click OK, come back to our brunette beauty, and I'll just replace the background layer because I can always do it over again. Edit fill, brick fill, and my new yellow brick. And there we have it. That really created an interesting texture, although it's making me feel like I'm trapped in the 80s or 90s, so I'm going to have to undo that. <laughs> but I wanted to show you how it adjusts the color, and it does an offset, and it's some really interesting effects. Now back to our grass. If I want to remove this seam, I can check out Image, Image Size, in Pixels. 396 by 402. I'm going to jot that down. And the reason I jotted that down is because in order to create a seamless pattern, I'll click OK, go to Filter, Other, and Offset. And if I offset by half of the width and half of the height, half would be 198, that's half of 396, and vertical, 201 half of 402. So when I click OK, here I can visually see my seam, and I could use something like the Spot Healing Brush tool, if it weren't a smart filter, so that's going to be tricky. I'm going to choose Layer Flatten Image, because the smart filter I'd have to get inside and paint this out. So I'm committing to my blur. I could try this, and it will attempt to remove those seams. It won't be perfectly seamless, because for the amount of time I have to show you this, it would take longer to show. But I also like to try the Patch tool, selecting different areas, and dragging to new spots to see where and what it's using to remove the seams. That's my best recommendation for getting rid of seams, the Patch tool and trying to line it up to objects in your image. I'm going to let it go. I'll do these last two. And it won't be perfect, but it will be good enough. There we go. All right. We've got some seams. I'll make a smaller selection of this one. And maybe shoot for above or below. But I need to let it go. There we go and it will color blend and balance. And I could keep going over and over it again. That's the beauty of patch. You will see some solid edges where there's big color changes, but the more you patch, the more it blends. And if you choose high contrast objects, it will blend those in as well. So see how I'm trying to line up those circles a bit? There we go. I'm also gonna make it bigger. So I will choose image, image size, and now go to percent, and make it 300%. Edit, Define Pattern, and this will be Lights, Grass, Big. Come back to our model, 
Edit Fill. Lights Grass Big. And I'm going to use not a scripted fill to start, but I'll click OK. It is a little bit more seamless. More time on that object would remove all the scenes. You may have to do the offset a couple of times to make sure there are no hard edges. But I could try another script. Edit, Fill, with a pattern. This time, try Random or Symmetry. Experiment with these on the patterns you create yourself. Edit, Fill, Crossweave, click OK. And there you have another interesting effect. I think I like the spiral the best, and I liked it on the smaller pattern. So we have it saved, and I could always quickly recreate it. But we'll try it on the bigger pattern before we finish. Yep, I like the small one, but that's kind of a neat crushed glass looking background. So I leave you to it. This has been a full tour of the new scripts in patterns, how to define patterns, looking into objects you already have for areas that could be made into a pattern, and I use the bokeh effect in order to create really interesting lights. So I hope you enjoy creating patterns of your own.